times and and then I, I saw, you know, there was a bunch of people that had done similar things, like Tom Green turned his whole house into I one. Saw that, yeah. I mean, he was really the that was. There's a video of us on that show in 2007, and I'm going, this is the future. Like, this is what we have to figure out how to make money off of. We have to figure out how to do this and just keep everybody out and make money off of this. And he walked away from it. He did, but he's he's doing one again now, right? Isn't Tom doing a new podcast? He said he was going to relaunch something real recently, I think. he was Because he posted that video and said he was going to re relaunch his show. I hope he does. He's a really funny awesome. guy. He kind of started a trend, too. He started yeah. on public access yeah. and then made his way into yeah. uh, stand-up. And uh, he's a really good musician. And to this he's day, a skateboarder. Freddy Got Fingered is a fucking hilarious movie that does not get the credit it deserves. It was just so wild that people didn't know what the fuck to do with it. But that Harlan. movie was hilarious. Yeah, Harlan was in that, right? Harlan Williams was, was he in that? that? Yeah, I think Harlan's he, hilarious too. Yeah. Harlan was at the club this weekend. I this love Harlan. Weekend. Yeah, yeah, he did my podcast too. But he, he, I love him. I could watch it. He is, he, he should be, and in my mind, is a superstar. He's one of the funniest guys he's just so to hang funny. out with. He really is. He's so funny, and he's another one. If you wrote his act down, you'd be like, "What is this?" Yeah. Just make, meanwhile, you're crying, laughing when he says it. Oh, he's so odd. He's from the same. He's from Toronto too. Oh. Yeah, there's a, he's another yuck yucks. Guy. Interesting. Yeah. yeah, a lot of people came out of my club. Norm Macdonald, mm. me, uh, Jim Carrey. Mm. Um, Toronto was a happening place in the late '70s, early '80s. There was, in the late '70s, there was San Francisco, there was Boston, there was New York, and L.A. L.A. was just sort of starting to pop off, right? After Boston Historic. and New York, New York was Catch and the mm -hmm. Improv were the two. Toronto did well with uh, Yuck Yucks. Boston was big. Nick's, yeah. uh, Nick's. Nick's Comedy Stop. Yeah, did you go there? Yeah, 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 yeah. I worked there a lot. I remember dropping in on that place. Yeah. And uh, what was Bill's? Bill had a Bill he had the, the Comedy the, Connection. The Comedy Connection, right? Yeah. And now it's the Wilbur. He has the Wilbur. Yes, it's the Comedy Connection at the Wilbur, and you know Bill. He was at the Comedy Connection in Faneuil Hall. Remember, it was in Faneuil Hall. Yeah, and he had like road gigs too. And then he had the Comedy Connection in Rhode Island. Uh, that was like a bank that they converted into a comedy club. It was very interesting. So place. we're 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 partners now in JFL and nice. Moon, and Moon Tower. Nice. Yeah, yeah. He's the man. He is. I, I love he's that. A, dude. He's a good guy. He's a real yeah. good guy, and he speaks highly of you. I told him I was going to be here today. He said, say hi. Yeah, I love him. I love him, too. I've known that guy forever. But that's uh, one of the cool things about this business, too. Like, nice guys, you get to find them and, you know, have a relationship that lasts 30 years. Yeah, which makes you seem it's old. It's cool. It's, we are old, dude. I, I know. I'm, no ifs, ands, or buts about that. That's fucking killing me. It's wild, right? Yeah. I had no idea. I used to, I remember being like in the presence of my parents when they go, I haven't seen you in 10 years. I'd go, I can't even fathom right. recognizing somebody that I haven't seen in 10 years. I've been in the business. I've been married for 43. I've been in, in this business for almost 50 years. Wow. That's I got amazing. up on a dare. How old were you when you got on stage? Oh, uh, well, not uh, 22 was the first time. So wow. I'm six. I'll be 68 this year. So how, how many years is that? What's that? That's 46, right? Yeah. Yeah. Four years away from a half a century in Ooh. this business. I got up on a dare and then I, I, I kept a fortune. I went out for Chinese food that night. I kept a fortune cookie and it said, tonight your your life path will change. Whoa. And I was so, it's so, and I'm never... Do you believe in fortune cookies other than that one, which is clearly true? If that was your only piece of no. evidence, you'd be like, well, clearly a fort fortune, fortune cookies, cookies are legit. UFOs, the yeah, two things that UFOs, right. fortune cookies, and right? You've the, seen both of them. Do you believe in life after death? I don't not believe. Yeah, I don't not. I don't. I have no reason to not believe, and I have no reason to absolutely believe. But I have a feeling that whatever we are. It transforms from this to other things. Well, science says that, you know, energy cannot be destroyed. It only changes form. Mm -hmm. So it'll change into another form. I think we're probably way more complex the way we integrate with the universe than we even understand. I think we exist in this biological dimension, but there's a, some sort of a conscious and spiritual aspect to us. And that probably transcends life. All controlled by AI. Ooh. Maybe. Maybe AI is like literally how everything gets made, though. Maybe that's how the universe got made. I don't even know if this is real. Who knows? Well, the real people that believe in simulation don't think it is real. They think the probability theory, if you incorporate probability theory into the simulation theory, 
just the, by virtue of the fact that there is a, a civilization like ours and that there's probably an infinite number of civilizations like ours and more advanced other right. places, the idea that it doesn't exist seems less likely is what they say. But a possibility. A d extreme possibility. It's all possible. So who's it ever could listening? Be the first. It could be that what we're seeing with these things is time travelers. What we're seeing is people that figure out a way to come back into this very volatile period of history and examine and what, what, you know, what human beings were like and that they have figured out a way to do that and not fuck up our timeline by just you know, zooming in and zooming out and, and observing. It might be that they figure out some way to look back on the future and make sure that the future actually, or look back on the past rather, and make sure that the future actually does take place. Because maybe there's some pivotal things in history. Like that's part of the folklore of UFOs is that they started coming after the bombs in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. That well, no, part of it is even before, right? In the in the Sanskrit, sure. uh, yes, the Bhagavad Gita, yes, yeah, and and even in the Bible, there's the, in Ezekiel's tale, it's very similar to like what a lot of people describe when they describe UFO experiences. How many theories are there, Joe? It's it's a lot. lot. I know. Yeah, just in this thinking. just in this broadcast, we've covered like yeah, ten, four, five, six. Yeah, there's a lot. Seven. There's a lot. Is this an actual broadcast? It might not be. Or is it anybody listening? I mean, they might not exist. We might not exist. Wow. Yeah. This uh, kind of this is incredibly uh, mind-boggling. Yeah, we might be a part of some gigantic computer program that's running in another galaxy. And is this AI? Did did we like I I saw a podcast of you where it wasn't you, but I right. thought it was you. Right. Is this you? In the future, it will be indiscernible. Is that's, it me? That's for sure. It Is might this not me? Be. I don't know. Could be. I don't know. I'm just confused now. I think we're the last of the regular people. I think these dilemmas that we're, we're currently wrestling with is the same. People are not going to understand this the same way it's hard to describe to kids Saturday night going to Blockbuster Video. Wow. Remember those days? Yeah, I do. I remember you. You're the king of date. analogies. You go to you go on a date and you know, let's go get a movie. Right. And you go and wander around like, what's right. out? Right. You know? And being a good person was be kind, rewind. Ah, that's it right. Was, it was. That's yes. Right. I was always uh, Sometimes was trying to be kind. Sometimes people had two VCRs, one that you rewound it with because you didn't want to break your VCR by rewinding all the movies you watched. It was always fun just to go into the porn section of Blockbuster. <laughs> I like to watch well, Blockbuster the Blockbuster didn't have a porn section, but local places did. We well, Blockbuster didn't have... No. Well, I'm talking no, the, the video star. Blockbuster was R only. That's as far as they went. But there was God a knows lot you of, looked. Yes, you looked. You, nothing? You guys do nothing? <laughs> Remember you'd have to go through the beads? <laughs> yes. Have, like yeah. beads or a saloon doors. Yeah. I, was, I hated open. that. I didn't want to touch the beads. <laughs> I didn't want to touch the beads. <laughs> I would... But uh, I like porn. <laughs> I do. Is that a bad thing? I don't 